Hosea chapter 9. O Israel, do not rejoice with exultation like the peoples, for you have whored from your Elohim. You have loved a harlot fee and all threshing floors. Threshing floor winepress shall not feed them, and new wine shall fell in her. They shall not dwell in the land of Yah, but Ephraim shall return to Mizraim and eat unclean food in Asher. They do not pour wine offerings to Yah, nor are they pleasing to him. Their slaughterings are like bread of mourners to them. All who eat it are defiled, for their bread is for their beings. It does not come into the house of Yah. What do you do for the day of appointment in the day of the festival of Yah? For look, they shall go because of destruction. Misraim gathers them up, Moth buries them. Nettles possess their valuables of silver, thorns are in their tents. The days of punishment have come, the days of retribution have come. Israel knows, the prophet is a fool, the man of the spirit is mad because of the greatness of your crookedness, and great is the enmity. Elohim's watchman over you, Ephraim, is the prophet, but a trapper's snare is in all his ways. Enmity is in the house of his Elohim. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Geba. He remembers their crookedness. He punishes their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first fruits on the fig tree in its beginning. They themselves have gone to Baal Peor and separated themselves to shame and became as abominable as that which they loved. Ephraim is like a bird. Their esteem has flown away. No birth and none with child and no conception. Though they bring up their children, I shall make them childless without man, for it is woe to them when I turn away from them. I have seen Ephraim, like Zor, planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring out his children to the killer. Give them, O Yah, give what? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their evil is in Gagal, for there I have hated them. Because of the evil of their deeds, I drive them from my house. No more do I love them. All their rulers are rebels. Ephraim has been stricken. Their root has dried up. They yield no fruit. Even if they bear children, I shall put to death the precious ones of their womb. My Elohim rejects them because they have not obeyed him, so that they become wanderers among the nations.